Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and this is uh, maybe my ranting video of the day. <laughs> I do that sometimes and I think uh, they are justified to a certain point. So, um, okay, here's the thing. We now, um, you know, I've, I've, I've talked about this feature um, a few months back because when they implemented, what I had heard is that everybody should have had it. And I thought, well, that's cool. But, okay. We gotta consider that we're probably, with the build that I'm using right now, at Creator's Update. I got two versions of Creator's Update. I got a home version, I've got a pro version. And my rant is about a feature that I think a lot of people should have. And I'm going to show you what it is. When you go to Updates and Security and Advanced Options, you've got here, in here, Pause Updates. And there's this switch here. So here it says, Pausing Now will pause updates until March 22nd, seven days. Now, I wish it could be a little more flexible, but you know, um, you got an on off switch, and this isn't the pro version. You can pause update up to seven days. Uh, you even have, you know, choose when updates are installed, and you can choose current branch or branch for business. You can choose up to what I see here is many, many days on new capabilities and improvements and the quality updates that includes security update. There's also many, many days, like a month. So how many days do you want to defer updates? So you can pause updates for up to seven days. You can defer updates up to a month. I think that's pretty cool. Problem is, when you are on home version, that's my other PC, well, all you get is this little top level. Choose how updates are installed and that's it. You don't have that bottom part. Which basically tells me that you are not going to have the possibility to defer updates in the home version, which is the majority of users. Um, I'm not sure that I'm really happy that it's like that. I mean, if you don't want to like have that days thing here, at least give the seven the days of delay on the switch here. I mean, come on. Uh, please. That, that's a minimum. That's really a minimum. Um, now, that's interesting because I was listening to Paul Tarot, Mary Jo Foley. Mary Jo Foley says she asked somebody at Microsoft that said, Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you'll be able on every version of Windows. Well, that's not what I see. That's not what Paul Taras, Taras sees also. In one of the comments that I have and he has is, well, this is pretty much the final version before Creators Update, which means that's not in there for regular users. So, um, okay. I guess uh, home users will be stuck at installing updates. And the only real thing that you'll be able to do if you're a home user it will be to go to, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And when you're on your Wi-Fi network, to uh, use the option to uh, basically um, make sure that you use the, you know, mobile um, hotspot thing that, that prevents you from updating because you're on a metered connection 